and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, you know, mm-hmm. we always talk when the seasons change about where has time gone, but now we're looking at the whole year <laughs> is almost gone. But for your company, it's been a great year. It really has been. The end of our year uh, in realtor world ends uh, October 30th. So that's kind of when our year ends and mm-hmm. our new year picks up with November. And like you said, we really have had an awesome year. I'm going to go into it a little bit in our real estate minute, but such a good year that we are now looking for new realtors and appraisers. So if people have an interest, hopefully they'll listen to the Real Estate Minute at the end and let us know if they have an interest. And, and the real estate industry is open to a lot more people than what you realize. Oh, absolutely. As far as you can be totally retired and mm-hmm. come back into real estate. Yeah, it makes a great second career. It makes a great part-time career. And then if you're looking for something to kind of do, if you're transitioning out of your current career and you want something, you know, you mm-hmm. cannot go ahead and do your classes. You can be prepared and then hit the ground running when you're ready. All right, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Sounds good. First of all, let's go into our first listing today. And this one is on Joe's Creek, actually Mm -hmm. left fork of Joe's Creek. Correct, correct. We had this discussion a few minutes ago trying to (laughs) figure out how to get there. Uh But if people are familiar with the Stone Coal area, you turn up Stone Coal, it turns into Joe's Creek. And then you get to the intersection right there where you have to turn right or left. You take a right onto the left fork of Joe's Creek. But the best thing to do, if you like these pictures and you like what we're telling you today, give Jennifer a call. She'll tell you there you right go. But in all honesty, you're only five and a half miles from US 23. So Correct. you're getting the country atmosphere and the country setting, but you're close to everything. You are, and if you look at it as uh, bird flies, you're actually across the hill from the city. So you're right there. You're right close to the city limits, but just out of them. So you're in a great location. It's a 1997 Oakwood double wide. It sits in the Ramsey edition, which is right there off the left fork of Joe's Creek, like we said. So it's a great location. Um, sits on a .35 lot. And then like you said, they've done some work to it. It's got a great layout. Um, it's got some new flooring in it. So they've really taken care of it, made it so it's a home that somebody else could come in and and make theirs very easily. And like you said, Ramsey Edition, uh, nearly, it's over a quarter of an acre mm-hmm. lot. So you're going to have some space. And I see that there's some yard space too. So gardening may be an option for this one. Absolutely. Maybe an outdoor, uh, an above ground pool maybe. Mm-hmm. So there's room. Absolutely. There's room for anything like that that you would want to, to put out there. All right. Now this one is, we said, left fork of Joe's Creek. 106 Two two one is that MLS number. The price on this one, Jennifer, just under seventy five thousand dollars. So that's correct. Something interesting for people to look at could be a good starter home. Absolutely, absolutely. It would actually make a great starter home or a home that if you're kind of getting ready to retire and you want to downsize, this is also a great option for that. All right, give Jennifer a call. Let's run over your uh, phone number real quick. Okay, six zero six four three seven two three 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 is our Pikeville office number. All right. Now, the next one is still in Pike County, but this Mm -hmm. one is in the community of Macar. It is. And uh, do you want to go over directions for it? (laughs) Yeah, and this is one of those. We've got some, we're starting off the the show today with some country setting homes. We are. In the county, in Pike Mm -hmm. County. This one's still in Pike County, but barely. But barely, yes. You are very convenient to actually the Mate One area, to the Belfry area. Um, Anything on that side is what you're going to be most convenient to from this property, but you're not far from getting on 119. So if you needed to be back in Pikeville, if you do anything in the Hardy area, South Williamson, this is a great location. When you're on 119, you will come up to that red light. There's a velocity market. I think there's a pharmacy right there. Uh-huh. Turn right, go across Hardy Mountain. Right. That's how you'll access this. That's correct. And when you okay. get to the uh, the end of the road, you have to turn right or left. Your right goes towards Ransom. Your left goes towards Macar, and you're going to take that left towards Macar. And then most of the people that are familiar with that area kind of know where there's a little shopping center when you get over into mm-hmm. Macar. This property sits very close to the left, and you'll see the turn for Auburn Hollow. Okay. Now, looking at some of the pictures that, mm-hmm. that you've given, the, the kitchen's cute, the outside of it is cute. I think this one, you could call it quaint. You could. You could call it quaint, and it's also just one that's been very well taken care of. They've had a lot of pride in their house, and it shows. You can see that in the pictures, I think. Um, but like you said, you have a massive kitchen, um, and this kitchen opens up to a 
formal dining room, mm -hmm. which opens up. You've got a formal living room. You've got a family room that's a nice size. And you've got a den, office area. It has a lot of space that you could make your own very easily. So, I mean, this is one of those that's small yet has everything you need. It is. It's, it's, it's well, not it's, that small. It's I'm, over 2,000 square feet. That's what feet. I was going to say. It's not that small because you're over 2,000 square feet, but it has that feel to it. It's a very homey feeling house. So, not that it feels small, but it feels very, like you said, quaint, and it feels very homey. And those are comfortable houses, too. Exactly. Especially when you're coming into the wintertime. Mm -hmm. I would much rather be in a smaller, more comfortable room trying to heat it and looking outside than this big, spacious place that's sometimes hard to heat. It is. It is. So this is a great option. Okay. Especially good for wintertime coming up. There you go. All right. This one is 106220. Uh, again, this one's located at Macar and the price, Jennifer, 149 So. Mm -hmm. Not a bad price. Not at all, especially for that amount of space. Okay, and I give you an e shoot you an email if someone's interested in this one? Absolutely. They can send an email to jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, the next listing is also in Pike County, and mm -hmm. this one is on Indian Creek. Yes, this is also a brand new listing. And if you're familiar with the Indian Creek area, this is also extremely convenient to 23. Mm -hmm. You're very convenient to pretty much anything in the Virgie area. So you're right there off one of the main roads. And, and I see that this one has, somebody's taken a lot of care of this one. Yes. And they've planned well for this home. Yes, absolutely. This is one that has, it just has so much charm on the outside and on the inside. And like you said, it's been very well taken care of. But you can see from the pictures on the screen, this, they've just had a lot of pride in this house. It just, it really, mm -hmm. really exudes that it's a charming house. And, and we were talking before, it has office space or mm -hmm. whatever you want to make it. There's this extra room, be it a nursery, be it a craft room, a den, or an office. Absolutely. You've got that extra space just to do whatever you need to with. Absolutely. And I think the people that live there actually use it as a walk-in closet. So I think a lot of people these days, that would be an interest as well. You just got the attention of everyone <laughs> watching this show. Exactly. Walk-in closet, bedroom, yes. <laughs> you want to see this one. And everything we're talking about, you know, this house, everything is under $100,000, mm -hmm. but you're also getting a little bit of acreage. Yes, yes. You've got about five to six acres estimated, and you've got about a half acre that's a usable flat piece of property. The past owners had a above-ground pool. It's mm -hmm. not there now, but there's plenty of room to do an above-ground pool or a garden space or add a carport or garage. You have room for all that kind of stuff. And this one is another one that, you know, it's out in Pike County being mm -hmm. outside the city limits of Pikeville, but it's not far from not at everything all. either. So that's one thing about the communities located in Pike County. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, you're going to be close to a community in the county. Absolutely, absolutely. And you're really only about two and a half miles from being at a grocery store, from being at a gas station, and then you're another mile from being on US-23. So the, the location on this one's great. And then absolutely. the pictures are showing how much they took care of that. Yes, absolutely. And a lot of the stuff you're seeing is fairly new because they replaced flooring, lighting, bathroom, all that kind of stuff in the last little bit. Okay, definitely one worth seeing. Absolutely. We mentioned this one is $95,000. You've got five to six acres uh, mm -hmm. on Indian Creek. So definitely give Jennifer a call. Let's go over your number again. Okay. The number in the Pikeville office is 606-437-2333. And when you do give Jennifer a call, mention 106246. That's the MLS number that will let her pull this home up directly and get your showing scheduled. Absolutely. Okay. Now this next one we have had before, mm -hmm. but we wanted to talk about it again because it's been reduced. Yes. We've got a new price. This is the one over on Honeysuckle Drive, which if Cedar Creek. Cedar Creek, right off Cedar Creek. Um, and this house, if you're looking at the pictures, again, this is another great one to be able to see the pictures on mm -hmm. because this house has had so much love put into it, and it shows in the pictures. It's just a very well-maintained house. They have taken care of what they've got, and it shows itself very, very well. And this is one that I love every time we talk about it because I just love that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I love the kitchen. I mean, you're getting into the holiday season, and I'm thinking, got to have room. you got to make mm -hmm. your Christmas goodies and your Thanksgiving dinner, and 
And it's got that island right out in the middle. Exactly. And then right off the kitchen, you have a formal dining area if you have guests. And then right behind that, they added on a sunroom that's the length of kitchen, dining room, everything, that if you needed extra space for all those holiday guests, you have a great space to have them. And, you know, four bedrooms, two and a half bath mm -hmm. with over 3,000 square feet. You've got enough room to, to do whatever you want or even have a large family in this house. Absolutely. And this one is, they used every bit of square footage they possibly could. So on the eave storage that isn't walkable or anything mm -hmm. like that, they went ahead and finished it out. And you have extra storage that's finished that you can, you know, store all those Christmas decorations in. And it's easily to get to. And so it's a great, great house that uses the space that it has. And then looking at the pictures, the one mm -hmm. of the living room, that shows you right there it's spacious. It's mm -hmm. got a tall ceiling in there. Yes, it's got the tall ceiling. It's got the wood beams in there. So it has that feel. And then there's a family room also that's, I don't think, shown in the pictures. But it's got a beautiful brick fireplace with all the wood built-ins in that room. All right, so if we've piqued your interest, if you want to see more about this home in Pikeville on Honeysuckle Drive, give Jennifer a call or shoot her an email uh, at the Pikeville office for Red Brenner Williams. Mm -hmm. 10494 or 973 is that MLS number and the price on that one, Jennifer, 320000 Yes, and like we said, that is a new price, so if somebody is interested, let us know and we'll get them in there immediately. That's a good sign of a motivated seller. There you go. Okay. <laughs> now, this next one of the last house we're going to do today is a new listing for you also. It's fairly new, yes. I think we've talked about it once before, um, but it's one that I definitely wanted to show again because this house is just an exciting house to have on the market because of the amount of space that it allows in mm -hmm. such a great location. It has so much space and so much movability in this house. You can you can use the outdoor kitchen, you can be in the indoor kitchen, you can mm -hmm. so it really has a lot of of potential. And, and if you're looking at the screen right now, you're seeing that this one says it's located at Betsy Lane. Mm -hmm. This is actually on Branham Hill, mm -hmm. which another one easily accessible right there to US 23. Yes, you're directly on 23 just about. You can throw a rock and hit it if you really wanted to. But um, this one sits, if you're familiar with where the Velocity sits at Betsy Lane, mm -hmm. you're pretty much directly across US 23 up on the hill. Behind the dairy bar. I think there's very a dairy bar. Very close to the dairy bar. <laughs> one street over, but yeah, very close. You can always associate with food. Yes, you know, there you go. A grocery store, <laughs> close to a restaurant, or something like that. Those there you houses go. are always popular. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and I'm seeing you've got the two car garage, mm -hmm. the double pane windows, central cooling heat pump. So you've got all the the amenities that you would want in a nice home. Absolutely. And the, the great thing about this one, I told you how much space, you're talking 2,900 square feet of space. So your bedrooms are all large. You've got the two bathrooms that are great and very accessible on the main floor. And then that doesn't count the bathroom that's downstairs. Um, and then you also, something that's not included in the square footage is there's finished attic that would make a great playroom or office space or something like that that we couldn't really count because of the ceiling height, mm -hmm. but you definitely can make it very, very usable space. And one thing, the last thing I want to mention about this house is two words, laundry chute. Yes. <laughs> the laundry is downstairs, but the, whoever built this house thought enough to mm -hmm. think, I don't want to have to carry this big bunch of laundry down the steps. So there's a laundry chute. There is a laundry chute, and that's one of the most popular things when we do showings. That's one of the things people get most excited about. So there is a laundry chute, yes. <laughs> okay, now that we have your interest and you're more interested in seeing this home located on Branham Hill and Betsy Lane, um, let's run over your email address one more time. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, now this home, $309,900. And the MLS number is 105954. That's correct. Okay, as we talked about in the beginning of the show, I'm going to step out and let you discuss a new career. Sounds good. Are you considering a second career or looking for a new one? The real estate business is an exciting, fast-moving career for a motivated self-starter. Red Brown & Williams is the fastest-growing real estate services firm in the region and is in need of career-minded, professional people. Even with the current difficult economy, in 2015, 
Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Services sold almost twice as much property as any other real estate firm in the region. Ray Brown and Williams has a real estate and appraisal mentoring program, which allows you to enter the real estate or appraisal business with your feet on the ground, ready to be successful. Consider calling Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Services today to discuss your new career. A Ray Brown and Williams representative can provide you with all the information you need to join our family and become a successful realtor or appraiser. Thank you for joining us for another real estate show. We hope to see you again real soon.